Hey guys, I'm here to do a book haul. Um, it, sorry, it's a four book book haul. It would have been a six book one, but Amazon just texted me uh, saying that my other two books are going to be delayed a day or two because of inclement weather. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. So, let me see. Uh, the first, well actually I got them all from different places. So, the first one I got from Amazon Marketplace. It is a new release. It is a debut novel, and um, with shipping, I got it for seven dollars. It's a new book, and um, yeah, so obviously cheaper than what Amazon had it for. It's like four dollars cheaper, or three dollars cheaper, or whatever. So, um, other words for love by Lorraine Zago Rosenthal, and I'm sure everybody has seen this book. I wasn't going to get it because Other Words for Love, I'm not a big romance person, but um, I've seen a couple reviews on them and people actually liked them and said that they're not sure why the title is that. Um, so, I was like, cool. So, yeah. Um, the, whatchamacallit is just green and black, so nothing fancy. Um, I got a little bookmark with it. Um, S. Krishna's Books. Thoughts from an Insatiable Reader. So that's a cool thing. I should probably check out that blog. www.skrishnasbooks.com So, um... So this can go for my Chiclet Challenge and for Debut Author Challenge, so that's very, very cool. Um, the next book I got, I got from Goodreads, and I was a little disappointed because I didn't read it, the description, um, otherwise I would have realized it was an ARC, so I'm kind of disappointed. Um, this ARC doesn't even have a, a cover, you know, like any pretty covers at all, and I don't like the the print inside it. The paper is the really white paper and I don't like that really white paper but anyways it's The Kid Table by Andrea Siegel and I wanted this book but look at the cover. It came out September 2010 so I just didn't want to pay because I think uh, it's like 12 bucks or more or something like that for this book so Oh, well. Um, it is neat, though. It's got <laughs> my family tree. There's a family tree in there. And in this book, I will read the back to you. I didn't read the back to you on the other one. Um, this one says, Stuck at the Kid Table? It might be the best seat in the house. Ingrid Bell and her five teenage cousins are such a close-knit group that they don't really mind sitting at the kid table, even if they have to share it with a four-year-old. But then Brienne, the oldest cousin, lands a seat at the adult table and leaves her cousins shocked and confused. What does it take to graduate from the kid table? Over the course of five family events, Ingrid chronicles the coming of age of her generation, with family members who play Christmas music at a bar mitzvah and invite a grown man to play Baby New, New Year at a party. She's not so sure the right generation is sitting at the kid table. When first love comes in the form of first betrayal, he's Brian's boyfriend, Ingrid is forced to question how she fits into her family and what it means to grow up, only to realize that maybe the kid table was where she wanted to be all along. Acclaimed adult author Andrea Siegel offers a depiction of family that is spot on from the frustration to the hilarity, almost a reverse coming of age. This YA debut will appeal to any reader who has sat at the kid table, or is still sitting there. So... Yeah, it sounds good. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, the next book I got, I got from Amazon. Oh no, the cover's dirty. I got from Amazon. It was on Clarence for like three seventeen or something. And it's even better in person. Goth Girl Rising by Barry Liga. That cover is awesome. And then little scrolly things go around to the back here. But that blue is like my, one of my favorite blues, um, or at least definitely near the shade of my favorite blue. Um, that cover, she just looks so freaking just goth. I love it. Well, obviously, goth girl. I love it. Um, and the cover, you're not going to be able to see it, but there is like all that design stuff is like embossed in here. 
So it's really, really cool. Um, yeah. I am so excited. Um, this book actually, um, The Adventures of Fangirl, or The Adventures of Goth, Goth Girl and Fanboy, or the reverse of it. Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. But I have that book too. Um, but of course, I won't be able to find it now because I want to. Here it is. The Astonishing Adventures of Fanboy and Goth Girl. Um, this was his first book. Um, and then you have Goth Girl Rising. And they sound really good. Um, this is actually about her getting out of a mental hospital. So I just think that's really cool because you know how I like stuff like that. Um, and then the last book I got, I got from Barnes & Noble. It was on clearance for two ninety nine, And I got it from because Jessica from Beauty Equals Hate did it in one of her recent book hauls. And it was very interesting to me. And I think I mentioned it already. But it's um, by Mental Floss. And it's in the beginning. From Big Hair to the Big Bang, Mental Floss presents a mouth-watering guide to the origins of everything. This is a very cool book, too. It's big. It's just a big book. And I like that. And I've got the baby jar on there and it just it looks neat to me um so yeah uh caffeinated beverages it just tells you like where stuff started from um it's divided into different sections so you got like fun and games government law and money pop culture romance science and medicine spinning to the spinning the globe traditions useful stuff um yeah bad stuff arts and literature it's just, I don't know, I think it's very cool. I like these kinds of books. So thank you, Jessica, for having this in your haul and for having all the different books you do have uh, because you definitely bring my attention to things that I didn't know were out there. So, um, yeah, this is just a very neat thing. Um, oh, look at that. I didn't even know. It says, Campbell's Condensed, The Quick Story of Warhol's Soup Cans. Before Andy Warhol burst onto America's pop art scene in the early 60s with his unapologetically banal paintings of Coke bottles, celebrities, and Campbell's soup cans, he'd worked in commercial illustration and magazine advertising for nearly 10 years. Perhaps it was all the exposure to corporate mass-produced art that spurred him to take those concepts to an absurdist extreme. But strangely enough, it was actually an interior decorator and gallery owner named Muriel Leto who inspired Warhol to paint his famous soup cans. The series that skyrocketed him to sudden notoriety in 1962. According to Warhol's friend and assistant Ted Carey, Leto suggested that Warhol paint something you see every day and something that everybody would recognize, like a can of Campbell's soup. Oh, that sounds fabulous, Warhol supposedly responded. He went to a supermarket the next day, carted home a case of the stuff, and the rest is art history. So, I don't know, I just, this stuff is just very interesting. Uh, they got cre checks and credit cards coupons, um, labor, talking about work labor and physical labor, uh, or, uh, you know, like women. So, yeah, look at cartoons, and they even have The Simpsons, which is so cool, because my husband loves The Simpsons. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this book, so, yeah. So, if they still have any, Barnes & Noble, two ninety nine. Alright, guys, that's it, um, I'm kind of disappointed my book closeouts order, which I placed last Friday. Um, I paid extra to have it because there's three things of shipping. There's just like your regular, normal shipping. So for the amount of stuff I got, it was in like nine ninety five or something. Or I could pay like fourteen ninety something to get the next level, which I do usually. I think two of my now four orders or three of my four orders I have done that way um, and I've gotten them in like a week and then there's like FedEx or something where it's like 30 bucks or something of course I don't need my books that fast but for five dollars more from the bottom level that's what I usually do and then they just sent me an email yesterday saying my package has been shipped it should arrive in approximately two to four weeks because I chose standard shipping and I'm like wait a minute um, I don't know if that was called standard shipping what I chose but it shouldn't be no two to four weeks so, yeah, so I'm hoping that it gets here. Like last time, I my last order that I showed you guys, I placed it on a Friday and got it the following Friday. So, and I paid for the same kind of shipping. So I'm hoping that that's what happens. But with the weather, too, I know that it can delay it some. So, um, 
tomorrow or today I was supposed to get the like I said the two books from Amazon but those have been delayed and those are two pre-orders um, so hopefully maybe I'll get them tomorrow excuse me um, and then I got some good reads books coming um, only like three or something one's for my son for his uh, honors reading class freshman year he's got to do some summer reading um, and actually it sounds pretty interesting I might actually read it um, and I Oh, and I'm still waiting for one book from Amazon Marketplace. Um, I placed it at the same time I did, like, all my other ones, and I've gotten all my other ones, but they have until, like, the 15th to get it to me. Um, so if they don't, then I'll contact them. So um, I think that's it. I have to hold off buying any books because um, just money right now, uh, not working, and then having the day off because of the snow day. Um so, yeah, so, I mean, I may still get a book here and there, but it's not going to be any book, big book hauls like I've been doing, so it's not going to be for, like, a month, um, because my next check, which is not, so not this Friday, but the following Friday, is where, like, my big chunk of bills comes from, um, that's the check that's going to be short, so, um, I won't be able to get anything to the following check, yeah, so, hopefully you guys stay, still stay with me, though. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.